rule change please show? <laughs> Looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Those against? <laughs> a couple. Right, we have a standing rule change passed. <laughs> Many to about three. Yeah. Sorry? Yep, please. <laughs> Martin Pine, PYNE. Uh, parliamentary inquiry. Would a motion to s make the rule change effect immediately under Constitution 513? At, is that, at, would that be timely later in the meeting on a, sep on a future day, or would it have to be made either now or previously to th the adoption? So is that for this rule, the one we just voted on? Yes, the question is, if, you, if someone were to make it, would a motion to make it take effect immediately requiring a two-thirds vote under 513, is that timely? When is that timely? It takes effect immediately. Um, I can't see that it would actually be effective at this point because it would require us, it would require anybody wishing to propose an amendment to have done so two weeks ago. <laughs> Which is kind of difficult, <laughs> absent a time machine. <laughs> so yeah, we could make such a motion and have it have effect, but in this particular case, I don't see that it's possible. <laughs> right. Changing the deadline for submission for new business item A2. Again, set five minutes on this. Any objections? Anybody wish to speak to it at the back? <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate Secor, and we proposed this measure because two weeks seems like an awfully short amount of time for the poor secretary to have to deal with all of the business and get it out, and then give everyone enough time to actually read it and think about it and talk about it and see what they want to do. So we said, well, move the deadline back for a month. Honestly, if you want to move so badly that you have thought about it ahead of time, constructed your language, found your co-sponsors, and you're not ready a month out, I'd be shocked. I think everyone's probably ready a month out. It's not that big of a change, and I think it makes people's lives a lot easier. Thank you. Elspeth, I think. Hang on. a bit slower. Yeah. Is there a way to make this effective directly? Elspeth Kovar, sorry. Um, is there a way to make this effective directly after this world con? This will come into effect directly after the end of the business meeting, regardless of what anything else we do. That's what I wanted to check. Yep. Thank you. Uh, anybody wish to speak against the proposal? Yes. Don. Hi, I'm Donald Eastlake. Uh, so I, I don't really think this ever increasing early notice thing is really necessary. Uh, I don't think there was any particular problem before when uh, the uh, deadline was very late, sort of right at the business meeting. The very simple amendments were sometimes submitted very late and went through, they were simple. Complicated amendments submitted very late almost always went down in flames. And you know, people who want their amendment to have support get it out early and you know, and, uh, campaign for it, whatever they, they feel they need to do to get people to understand and support it. So I, I, just don't, I don't, you know, and if the deadline is too late for the secretary to get it into the agenda, then it's the responsibility of the maker of the motion to print up copies and bring them to the business meeting. It's a requirement in the rules. So, you know, secretary can set a deadline when, and if stuff's after that, then it's no longer the secretary's problem to, to get copies. So I don't really see it necessary to make things earlier. Thank you, Don. Uh, Linda? <laughs> as, as someone with several years experience, <laughs> I find that it's, it's harder for people to submit things later if they want to have to make their own 200 copies. I like to travel before I come to a convention. I realize that's selfish. But it also, I also know how long it takes me to gather some of the information from people, particularly the financial reports. Having an earlier deadline actually works better for that because 
The people generally who have to prepare the financial reports are also working on the Worldcon. If they have an earlier deadline, they can, it'd be easier for them to meet the deadline. Also, I think it would stop these last minute, um, somewhat sometimes trivial proposals that get made. But basically, I think it gives, having an earlier deadline gives people more time to think about what's going to happen, what changes they want, and it's to everybody's benefit. Thank you. Speech against? Todd Dashoff, move to call the question. Who wishes to speak? Joni. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else wish to speak? <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, it's been proposed to call the question. Is there a second on that? Second. Yep, lots. Right. Uh, on the motion to close the question, those in favour of closing the questions, please show. Those against? Right, motion passes. Now call the question. Those in favour of the motion to amend the standing rules, please show. Those against? Yep, yeah, pretty much passed. <laughs> many, to quite, many to a few. <laughs> Thank you. All right, resolutions. We have no resolutions this year. We don't need those resolutions. So we just have to set time limits for the business passed on. Um, on the mark, question C1, five minutes. Any objection? Seeing none, it will be five minutes. Actually, parliamentary inquiry. Uh, Jesse Lip, uh, Deputy Chair. Uh, I believe our standard practice has been to set debate at an even number of minutes to help make the timekeeper's life easier. I don't care. If the timekeeper <laughs> doesn't care, then I guess it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> I can do that. We'll. <laughs> 30 seconds is a time, yes. Um, right. Uh, C2, again. Five minutes, any objection? Seeing none, five minutes. Make room, again, five minutes. Any objections? No, good. And finally, the uh, Lodestar, the Young Adult Award. 10 minutes on that, people having said they want to debate it. Any objections to 10 minutes? Nope. Set. We will get that. Right. That just leaves us to deal with new constitutional amendments. And since we've been underway for three quarters of an hour, I think we should take a ten minute or so break and uh, raid the coffee at the back, <laughs> which I assume is provided by Google. I know tomorrow's was to be provided by Google. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin.